When we talk about flirting, there are three types of men. The first is the one who doesn't know how to flirt at all and ends up in the friend zone. The second is the one who tries but comes off as awkward. And the third, he's the guy who knows how to flirt well. Trust me, by the time you're done watching this video, you'll realize that flirting is actually very easy and you'll understand why you might be facing rejection when you try to flirt. So, welcome to your complete guide on how to flirt. In this video, I'm going to explain the process of flirting, how to do it effectively, and how to influence the mind of the girl you're flirting with so she sees you as a high-value man, not just someone chasing after her. Pay attention, because what I'm about to share with you will only take 10 minutes, but the knowledge will stay with you for life. Please, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let's start by answering the question, why flirt? To understand this, let's look at a conversation where there's no flirting at all. Imagine a guy and a girl talking. Guy, where are you from? Girl, Melbourne, Australia. Guy, wow, so you survived all those deadly animals, girl. Ha ha ha, yeah. Guy, I heard it's one of the most livable cities in the world. Why'd you move? The conversation goes on, but here's the issue. It's completely platonic. There's no flirtation, no spark, nothing that creates attraction. It might as well be two dudes chatting. This guy's going home alone. At best, he's going home solo. At worst, straight to the friend zone. And let's be real, that's way worse. This is why flirting is such a crucial part of seduction. It gets her thinking about you in a romantic context and makes it clear you're a man with intent, not just someone looking to be her buddy. If flirting is what separates you from being just a friend and makes her see you as someone she could be with, then why are most guys so bad at it? Let's dive into the common mistakes most guys make when it comes to flirting. A lot of guys make the mistake of being too obvious. Why is this a problem? It kills the mystery. When mystery disappears, so does excitement. Intrigue is what makes things fun, but being overly direct ruins that vibe. Here's an example of awkward, obvious flirting. Girl, I love sports bras. Guy, I bet you'd look amazing in a sports bra. Way too obvious. So, what should be flirting look like? Great flirting is much more subtle. It works through implication rather than saying things outright. This creates more mystery and leaves women guessing and wanting more. Being overly direct also eliminates her ability to absolve herself from feelings of guilt or shame. Women have been socialized to feel a certain way about being perceived as promiscuous. When you're too direct, she can't escape the thought that something is about to happen and she may back out to avoid those feelings. Instead, you need to give her plausible deniability. For example, instead of saying, come over, we'll hook up, you might say, I've got an awesome pool table at my place. Let's play around. You both know what's likely going to happen, but this gives her a way to rationalize it differently. So the lesson here, don't be too direct. If you're hanging out with male friends, you probably engage in a lot of banter, but that kind of banter doesn't work when you're flirting. There's a difference between friendly banter and sexual flirting. For example, giving a girl a high five is friendly, but holding her hand is undeniably flirtatious. Most guys avoid making bold, riskier moves, and as a result, their interactions lack any sexual tension. Here's how you can avoid these mistakes and become an irresistible flirt. Earlier, we discussed how being too obvious is a common mistake. So what's the solution? Be subtle. Here's how you do it. Instead of clumsy, direct flirting, make it indirect. For example, girl, I love sports bras. Guy, really? Believe it or not, I love girls who love sports bras. See the difference? You're still showing interest, but in a more indirect way. You're implying your attraction without being too blunt. Implying that you like her is far more exciting than just saying, I like you. It keeps her guessing and wanting more. Speaking of being high value, when you're dealing with high quality women, they will test you. It's a way for them to gauge your confidence. 
If you show that you're unfazed, you pass the test, and her attraction for you grows. But if you get defensive or insecure, you fail, and her attraction fades. These tests might come in the form of snide remarks, tricky questions, or unreasonable requests. For example, she might say, I bet you use that line on all the girls, or how many women have you slept with? The easiest way to pass these tests is to agree and amplify. Here's an example. Girl, I bet you use that line on all the girls. Guy, yeah, I wake up every morning surrounded by women. Is that good? Here's the thing, women can sense insecurity from a mile away. If you're not confident in your approach, it doesn't matter what you say, it'll fall flat. Flirting is less about the words and more about how you say them. So stand tall, maintain eye contact and don't second guess yourself. Confidence is magnetic. Gem two, playful teasing. Flirting should be fun for both of you, so don't be afraid to throw in some playful teasing. Not mean or rude, just light-hearted teasing that shows you don't take yourself too seriously. For example, if she says she's bad at sports, you can say, I guess I'll have to take it easy on you when we play. It's flirty, it's fun, and it builds a connection. Gem 3. Use silence. Here's a little-known secret. Sometimes saying less is more. Don't feel like you have to fill every moment with words. Pausing giving her a playful smile or just holding eye contact for a few seconds can speak volumes. Silence builds tension and tension builds attraction. Gem 4. Show interest but stay detached. It's important to show genuine interest but here's the twist. You also need to be detached from the outcome. If you're overly invested she'll sense that and might pull away. But when you show you're interested without needing her validation it creates a vibe that says, I'm into you, but I'm good either way. That confidence is irresistible. The same principle applies to relationships. Women tend to value men they have to put effort into understanding. When you don't react like the average man, she'll start to think there must be something special about you. That's why it's crucial to learn how to make a woman strive for your attention. Don't be an open book she can read all at once. One strategy involves showing interest and then quickly showing disinterest. For example, an average guy might simply say, hey, you're really pretty, and then wait for her reaction. She'll probably see him as just another guy. But a high value man might say something like, you're pretty, sure, but I'm not convinced yet. This creates an air of mystery and challenge, making her more interested in proving herself to you. Now that you have the tools to become a master at flirting, it's time to put them into practice. But before you go, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below with the technique you found most helpful and how you're going to use it. I personally read every single comment and I'm here to help you along your journey. If this video brought you any value today, make sure to give it a like. It lets me know that this content is making a difference in your life and helps me create even more powerful videos for you. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on future tips that can elevate your life to new levels. This channel is all about giving you the tools to unlock your potential, whether it's in your personal relationships, confidence or mindset. I'm here to support you, but it all starts with you taking that first step. Let's do this together.